This one's rolling. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Bible Sketching. I'm here with my family. We have them all at our house, and so it might be a little noisy. We have a baby in the house singing for us. There's bacon crackling, pancakes being made. Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, but we're going to try to do some Bible sketching together. And we will begin with our looking at our Strong's Concordance. So we're going to open up, and you guys can help me pick what we're going to do. I'll kind of read through maybe some ideas. Um, I see Gideon for his proof of his calling, praying for proof of his calling. I see... Hezekiah for health or deliverance. All right, so just tell me if something seems interesting. Jabez for prosperity. Jacob all night. What does that mean? All night. <laughs> Was he up all night? Fighting with wrestling with Oh, God. yeah. That might be an interesting one. That might be, yes. You guys like that one? Sure. I think all right, so. we'll sure. check that out. Okay. okay, so Jacob, all night. That's all it says, says the prompt. <coughs> so that is Genesis 32. Wow. 24 to 30. So I'll just kind of read this here. So we have, so Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. There's the all night. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, to 30. Then the man said, let me go for it is daybreak. I'm waiting for the prayer part here. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but... Anybody? Israel. Israel, yes. Uh, I lost my place. Please tell me your name. Oh, Jacob said. Oh, sorry. Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask me my name? Seems pretty obvious <laughs> if I say, what's your name? Allah. Allah. Wouldn't you ask me my name? Like if you were just meeting me? Sure. Yeah. So he said, why do you ask me my name? Then he blessed him there. So he just totally avoids the... <laughs> so Jacob called the place Peniel. Mm. Saying, it is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. Okay. So do you guys have some ideas in mind? So we read about Jacob wrestling with God, which I might kind of start with something like that. Everybody clear their throats. Time to dive in. Pressure is on. You know what I always say when you don't know what to do or you're feeling pressured, what do you do? Just start. Can you do, make some marks? Don't be afraid. No, make some bold marks, really. Lay something in there. Oh, what is that? That was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, but then. Now I know.
And it's also okay to just not have an idea. I'm sure we're going to So I'm going to be very literal and just make Jacob wrestling <coughs> with the angel or however it's described. What does it say? So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him. Isn't that weird? It says he was alone. Mm-hmm. But a man wrestled with him. So I wonder if it was kind of like, you guys kind of wrestle with things mm -hmm. in your mind. Maybe it was something a little more like that. Maybe not in real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen paintings of this where it's, he's wrestling with like an angel or something, but it doesn't say that. But it was a man that he wrestled with. Yeah. It said, so. When the man saw that he could not overpower him. Does that mean like Jacob was overpowering him? The man saw he could not overpower him. So he touched the socket of Jacob's hip. Mm. It's kind of like he weakened him mm -hmm. there. Jacob was quite the fighter, the wrestler. I think I'm drawing something more like things I've seen, mm. which I want to get away from, but it's where I'll start. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta draw what you gotta draw, get it out. So I've been doing a practice of each morning, I call them morning pages, but I journal for like two or three pages. And the idea is, and this is a, a concept from a book called The Artist's Way, but it's sort of just to vent your mind. You're just kind of dumping everything out and you don't show it to anybody and you don't even look back at it yourself, but it's kind of just say what you gotta say. Mm -hmm. And uh, it kind of opens up some interesting things. It helps you, to, helps me to hmm. come up with new ideas because it's like, okay, I got that out of my system, and it sort of clears the path for like hmm. newer, better thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of become part of my hmm. creative process. All right, I want this arm to. Thrown back. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> Starting over. <laughs> Starting over? Yes. Uh, yeah. I have uh, no idea. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Here, let's put it on the, oh, the close up no. camera. <laughs> so, so we've got, it's kind of like those bear rugs <laughs> where you've got the head of the bear and then the rug. So. Not sure how that connects, but um, but you gotta draw what you gotta draw. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Not the bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> a, a good artist, the art professor, told me once that you got a lot of bad drawings in you. You gotta get them out so the good ones can come out. So, so good job doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying to des decide what this other man is like. I guess I will be just make it this other man. How did he, he touched his socket? His hip was wrenched. That'd be interesting to draw. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, this is the 
bad drawing, <clears throat> but he's getting out here. So. I'm making this guy like up really high. Like he's jumping off a rock, doing like a wrestler move. <laughs> I wasn't, really, wasn't really thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun trying to draw action poses though. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. How's everybody else doing? How you doing, um, Esther? Not very good. Not very good? <laughs> oh, we don't say that when we're sketching. Well, I probably say it <laughs> in my videos. I say, this is a bad drawing. This looks bad. These proportions are bad. We can't help it. It's interesting when you're drawing, it's kind of like you're really putting yourself on the line there. You're really putting yourself out there. and. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I got kind of a little fight scene going on, kind of obvious. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the scripture here. I'm going to kind of, you know, there's the whole, he touched his socket of his hip, his hitch was wrenched. Then the man said, let me go for it is daybreak. Apparently, he can't be around during the daytime. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. That's pretty bold, don't you think? Yeah. I'm going to go with that idea. Let's see what comes out with that. So his hip is wrenched at this time. I just realized... Yeah, I need to come up a little more. Okay. Uh, Seth? Here, I'll, I'll do it. Everybody keep drawing. Got it. <laughs> oh, what's the battery? Okay. Um, we can edit this for you. Oh, so breakfast is ready though, David. Well, we're not ready. Okay. Yeah. Is it just kind of a neat whatever then? Yeah, that's a good idea. So I was going to do the, here's Jacob. He's not letting him go. I want his body really pulling back here. That's a super fun pose to do. So to learn to get good at drawing poses like this, this is where you like have to draw people a lot. You gotta... Mm -hmm. And just simply, like, see this big curve? Do you see that, Esther? Yeah. So I kind of have that in mind, but I could just kind of lay in a curve so I have a map to follow. 
then I start building the body around that. That's how you make, you know, because it's easy to have your characters so stiff and look like robots. So this guy is walking away. Like, I gotta go, the sun. It's almost like, what are creatures or beings that don't like the sunlight? Like, the vampires or something? <laughs> I'm not suggesting he's a vampire, but just. <laughs> Uh, I should have had his head <laughs> up. That would make it feel more like he's reaching away. And another cool thing, because we know it's daybreak, we can add a little sun effect in here. That it's coming up. How you doing, I'm Mom? St I'm still in, at night, so the moon is showing. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're still fighting. They're still fighting. It is, was a long fight. That sounds it was, like a long fight. Yeah. So, thinking personally, have you guys wrestled with something all night before? Yes. Yes. No. Kind of, kind of exhausting. Mm hmm. And it, everything seems more dramatic at night. Oh, yeah. So your thoughts are deeper. And... So why do you think he said, bless me? Why would he ask for a blessing? He knew what he was. He knew like that he came he was part of the line of Abraham. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, do you think he realized that it was God um, wrestling with him? I would think so cause for him to ask him to yeah. bless him. He kind of sensed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's something to do with like the the wrestling part like when we wrestle with something like it seems like that's a common indicator that you're interacting with god mm -hmm. and so do you have a thought oh, i'm just thinking about just the break kind of the hip of how then it, it breaks and the revolution comes or the you know once he was hurt, is that what you're saying? Yeah, like he, then it was all clear or whatever. I don't know. Mm, yeah. He became clear of who he was and where, what his destiny was or what, where God was leading yeah. him. Yeah. And what do we do usually do when there's pain? Mm -hmm. We run from it or mm -hmm. we try to... We fight against it. I don't want to... I don't wanna yeah, I don't like the pain, so how can I make myself comfortable? Grab mm -hmm. some ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's see. How are we doing on time? We're at about 20 minutes. All right, I feel I like mm, this idea here. All right, so can we, can I, who wants to share what they've been drawing? And, <laughs> come on, come on. I'll share okay. mine because I haven't drawn in ages, but okay. my um, so. Jacob looks like a girl <laughs> with, with an ugly face. Oh, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. But um, <laughs> Jacob is touching his hip, and he's kind of broken down like, but... Jacob is touching his hip, or...? Did I get it understood I think the wrong? man touches 
the man saw he could not overpower See, him. He touched the socket of he touched yeah he touched the socket of Jacob's hip. Oh, so it's the other way, but that's okay. Look, oh, it's kind of like that too. Yeah, it's kind of like he's. Okay, his th hip. yeah, that was yeah. what you I was. You got like, it. You I knew thought it. I was. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the different trees in the back. Yeah. You got kind of pine trees there, and then I you know, got sort of. I know, and then I realized trees. pine trees probably weren't there. Mm hmm And so then it went with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. But you're Ella? dwelling on that idea is the point. I guess so. The you said to point. just go with, yeah. go with it. So. Anybody else? <coughs> Ella? Um, no. Yes. <laughs> Not willing to share? Uh, fine. It's important to share your artwork because that's what, how you learn. Where you're at. You know what? Mm -hmm. This is kind of like you're facing the the pain or the, <laughs> the shame. Is, yeah. You know, this is the wrestling kind of thing. And yeah. you can't grow unless you face that. Mm -hmm. So okay. do you think I you'd be okay with? Okay. All right. I have a lot Good of job. Paper okay. And then erasing a lot. Oh. I think that's great action. Oh, yeah. I love I see the action. this angle here. Like you've got more energy in there than yes. than like what I drew. Um, <laughs> I like that a lot. Very that's good beautiful. Job. I think I used up half the eraser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Okay. All I right. Have to explain this. You would like to explain it? Let's. Um, Let's see if you can. Okay. So we have a bed. We have a person out of bed <laughs> on the floor. So I imagine this is kind of an internal. Battle. battle. It's not truly Jacob. It's mm -hmm. yeah. trying to think of it. And present. the bed sort of represents it's night time. Mm -hmm. So you're at night and you're going through that wrestling. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. anything else? I even thought perhaps after the wrestle and she's just kind of like, okay, I surrender. I give up. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. 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 Oh. yeah, very nice. Very good. All right, Esther? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is kind of fun doing something a little different. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can explain yours. So, yeah, I started just kind of with the rustling. Here's he's like jumping off a rock. <laughs> like, hey, uh. Um, and then here's the part where he's like, I gotta go. It's daybreak. And he's like, no. He's pulling him back. <laughs> and, uh,. Saying you gotta bless me, um, so that might be an interesting challenge, spiritual challenge, you know, to explore of when we're wrestling with something and asking for a blessing through it, and really watching. I think that's that's what I struggle with. I might pray for things, then I kind of forget about it, and then it's like, is this an answer to that? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Well, thank you guys for joining today for Tuesday Bible Sketching. Hopefully we can do this again. Uh, so thank you all for joining in, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> um.